everybody, Hungry Hussy here. Today on the Hungry Hussy Cooking Show, I am going to bring to you some cabbage, some sausage with a little bit of onion. We'll call it sausage and cabbage. <laughs> That's right. Hey, nothing really extravagant. This is a really easy meal to put together. It's a simple dish, very few ingredients. Uh, it does take a little bit of time. You got to cook the cabbage, saute the cabbage up and all that kind of good jazz, but Boy, I tell you what, it is some kind of good. So hey, let's get to it. Let's go look at the ingredients. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, ingredients. Here's our cabbage. This is half a head of cabbage that I have sliced up. Okay, just took the core out and then just sliced the cabbage lengthwise. Nothing crazy, nothing special. And the somewhat kind of small pieces. And then I have uh, one onion that I've sliced up. This is a Vidalia onion that I have sliced up and just uh, just a halves, okay, nothing crazy. And then this is some Nooski's uh, sausages. These are big, called Big Dogs. These are three pieces of that. These things were really, really good. Kids really love these as well. So I thought it'd go really well with our cabbage. Got a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little red wine vinegar, and then a little bit of chicken powder. And we'll use a little bit of water as well. All right, y'all, hey, welcome back. Hey, let's get started. We're gonna get started. We're gonna put this cabbage on. Uh, cabbage takes a while. Got a little bit of uh, this avocado oil we're gonna put down. Also like to use a little bit of bacon grease too. Bacon grease is really good. I don't have any with me. Uh, I do have some upstairs, but I don't feel like walking up there and getting it. So we're just gonna get this cabbage down. Then over here, it's gonna get the onions down. Start getting them to sweat out a little bit. Beautiful cabbage. We'll get a little char to them, even it out. When we get done, we'll have like the amount of, you know, like that. Not really, but a little salt. A little salt on our, a little salt on our onions, a little pepper. A little pepper over here. All right. Now this, uh, beautiful. Just gonna let this saute for a couple minutes and then we'll come right back, all right? Look at this beautiful. Already getting some color on this. You can already see it kind of right here. Man, yummy, yummy. There are onions. Get them soft. Yum, yum, yum. All righty. So what I'm gonna do is, this will help speed things along. This might be a little bigger than my enclosure here. Houston, we got a problem. Oh well. The fault that counts, but we're still gonna use this because it's all I got. Don't put a little bit of water. That don't work real well. <laughs> All righty. Well, that don't have to work. I need my bigger one. It's upstairs too. While I'm going, I'm gonna go ahead and get the. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the sausages on. We'll come over. Uh, you can't see that. I'll put the sausages over here. Just gonna let them go. Just kind of willy nilly. Just they're just kind of hot. Just hanging out. Like old gal on a Harley Davidson on the back. She's just back there, she's riding. She's riding. All righty, get on there. You see that piece of onion right there? It's hanging on like a hair on a biscuit. I tell you what, I'm tickled pink about it. I'm tickled pink about my, especially it's cold. I put my, bring my can out here, my, my chair wine. It gets cold, or not cold, it gets hot, so hot. But I got a chair wine Yeti cup now. 
Boy, I'm moving up in the world, let me tell you. Ah, it keeps my chair wine cold. Yeah, baby. Tell you what. Those weenies right there are good. They are really good. Love them. See what our cabbage is all about here. I mean, it's already, it's wilted pretty good. It needs, needs a little longer. We're gonna let it go two or three minutes and we're gonna come back, all right? All right, guys, hey, it's been a couple minutes. Uh, our cabbage is getting really good color on it. It's wilted down really, really nicely. This is really just by choice. If you're, depending on how you like your cabbage fix, uh, if you like it a little bit more crunchy, you like it a little bit uh, not as crunchy, you like it more limp, you just gotta cook it for your taste, okay? I can't tell you that. You gotta, you gotta do it yourself, okay? So, you know, just go at it, eat a little. I think it's time for a little bit of this Wilder's chicken powder. I had probably a teaspoon, maybe two, two, one and a half teaspoons of that. And it gives it, it's, it's kind of like using chicken broth without using chicken broth. And also it has, well, it's got MSG in it. And MSG, MSG makes stuff taste good. Oh yeah, that's that's beautiful right there. That's beautiful, we're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take our, our weenies and I wanna get some flavor from these weenies over in this cabbage and then we're going to add a little bit of uh, red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar just kind of, for some reason it, with that and cabbage, it kind of works. It kind of cuts through, uh, cuts through that flavor, boldness. And we got these weenies in there too. That vinegar kind of works with that. I will caution you, you wanna, you put that vinegar down, make sure you, uh, Make sure you clean your griddle right after because that acidity will really works at your top, okay? Man alive. Man alive, look at that. Good night in the morning. Love it, love it, love it. Y'all, we're gonna, we're gonna let this go for I've had the burners all on low for right now. I don't, you know, temperature we're probably looking at, you know, 375, 400 degrees, probably more around 400 degrees, how we're cooking this. And at this point, I'm just gonna leave these two middle ones on, leave these two on the outside off, okay? Whoa, I need a little salt. Other than that, other than that, it's good. Might need a dash more of this here, uh, chicken powder. Now, caution you, this does has a little sodium in it. You don't want to put a lot of salt and you don't want to come back in with that. But you, you got a lot of cabbage right there you got to make up for. Man. All right, hey, welcome back everybody. These things, they're done. I'll let them go another two to three minutes just to kind of, just to let it just kind of chill out, let it metal a little bit. You can see just how brown the cabbage has gotten. It's good to go. We're gonna take it off, put it on our plate, and we're gonna get ready to try this, all right? There you have it, it's done, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, get a folk. I tell you what, I don't think I've ever told y'all this, but my buddies over, the griddle guys, got me this as like a housewarming gift. It is an awesome, awesome caddy. It's got a paper towel holder, I got some plastic forks, some knives, plastic spoons, uh, napkins, I got some cups in there. Pretty awesome little item. Comes in handy a lot, especially with me down here uh, in the basement. It uh, really, really comes in handy. I got it at my Amazon store, check it out if, you, uh, if you're interested. It's good for like camping, things like that. You go set out on your picnic table, go from there. But hey, let's get back to this right here. Look at that right there. Look at that. Let's give it a try, ready? Cabbage is caramelized, okay? But that that weenie, sausage, whatever it is, is beautiful. That Vidalia onion adds a little bit of sweetness to it, okay? It's phenomenal. 
cabbage has a good flavor too. Remember we put a little bit of that red wine vinegar plus that Weiler's chicken powder. So it's got like a, like a chickeny flavor. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I like this whole dish. This right here is money. Y'all, hey, I appreciate it. Appreciate you watching up to this point. Uh, appreciate all the love. Just a little bit of background. Uh, link tree uh, down below. See my link tree? That's where everything I'm affiliated with. Doll Strong Knives, my merchandise, uh, Thermaworks, my IR pin, all that kind of stuff is in there. Check it out. Uh, interested in becoming a member? Just before, while we were shooting this, shot a little behind the scenes footage for my members for this. So, you know, if you're considering doing that, there's a, there's a link below, plus there's a join button right beside the, where the subscribe button is. Um, don't have to, still get, this, still get this video just like this right here. I love everybody. Appreciate everybody's support at what they give. So, hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. And until next time, folks, Hunger Hussy is out. Bye, y'all. I want some more of this.